use everything from metal to rock again. Now let's discover more subgenres. Alternative Rock A umbrella term describing the underground music scenes where bands were different from mainstream rock like Guns N' Roses, Bon Jovi, Van Halen, etc. Having punk's energy, DIY ethics, and being experimental with their music. Originally, it was called College Rock, but I like to call it the Underground Radio Station era. But bands like Rem, The Pixies, Rock me, Etc. Went from a local band to getting featured on TV. The drama gained its popularity with 90s grunge acts like Nirvana. Alice in Chains. Soundgarden. Being played on MTV and radio. Soundgarden, Soundgarden, Soundgarden. Nirvana, Nirvana, Nirvana. Pearl Jam, Pearl Jam. Alice in Chains, Alice in Chains, Alice in Chains. Along with other acts like ska, pop punk, rip pop, selling their music everywhere. Newer bands continue pushing boundaries, being adventurous, but still has its rock roots like Radiohead. Dinner. Red Hot Chili Peppers. At the disco, psychedelic rock. Don't do drugs. A short-lived, off-body experience of rock with trippy effects like reverb, distortion, feedbacks, and wah pedals, including Eastern instruments with folk, jazz, blues influences while singing about drugs or the feeling of using drugs. To keep things short, I'll jump to 1966 when the birds were the earliest example with Eight Miles High. Then the 13th floor released the psychedelic sound of the 13th floor elevators, making it popular. Influencing some rock and roll bands to go psychedelic as well, like the Beatles with Revolver, the Who with I Can See For Miles, and the Rolling Stone with Painted Black, creating miserable psychedelia with its lyrics. Other notable pioneers are the Grateful Dead, The Doors, The Electric Prunes, etc. It reaches peak during the late 60s with Jefferson Airplane's a realistic pillow. Cream's Disraeli Gears. Pink Floyd's The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. My hey ho, hey. And Jimi Hendrix. Dominating festivals and bringing psychedelic to the US and UK. Then the decline with the anti hippie movement and government banning drugs. Other bands include Stephen Wood. Love I don't know Plastic Ono Band Etc. Before you continue, make sure to like and subscribe. Your support is my motivation and backbone to continue posting these videos. So please like and subscribe. Now back to the video. Glam Rock A Glitter Rock being based on 50s rock and roll and rockabilly. Come back, baby, I wanna play house with you. Having simple song structure, sounding upbeat, danceable while singing about your typical rock stuff. It was like saying ill to prog rock stool, complex, classical influence, and very long solos. They call it P-Pop music. The leader that started the drama was T-Rex with My people with fan has sky in their hair, but now they're content to wear stars on their brows. Adding some heaviness into their rock and roll elements, then they perform hot love on top of the pop, when glitter and sand on stage, making glam rock a thing. 
then David Bowie shocked the audience with his alter ego Siggy Stardust with bright makeup, glamorous and colorful outfits. Making other bands like Roxy Music Slate Sweet New York Dolls And many more following the scene during the same year, Alice Cooper debuted at Schools Out, another icon with his makeup and stage presence. Developing the heavier side of glam rock with bands like Molly Crew, Twisted Sisters, Poison, forming glam metal. I know glam rock is more about its fashion and movement, so I like to include Kiss and Queen as well. Noise rock or noise punk, a genre that spun off from punk, taking influences from the No Way scene. Industrial avant garde while abusing distortion, saturation, and electronic effects. History can date back to 60s experimental music, but we'll jump to the feathered underground with white light, white heat, and sister rape being labeled as the first noise rock song. Later on, Les realizes the news. We'll adopt the sound and polish it better for future bands. Other early examples include Lou Reed with Metal Machine Music and Sonic Youth with Dirty, adding a bit of melodies. During the 80s, most influential bands like Big Black, Butthole Service, Scratch Asset We're getting a major fan base Other notable bands include Jesus Lizard Swans Life Skull Etc. It declined in the 90s but still has its low musicians with bands like The Locust Lightning Bolt Etc. Keeping it alive And that's Rocks Up Dramas Part 2 I try my best to fill in most info within 15 minutes Feel free to add your info or recommend your bands in the comment section Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video Bye bye